na kukaribisha wamo nyingine ndani ya the FM show KE. Ni moja kati ya story ambazo tumekuwa tukizifuatilia kwa muda mrefu tokea kisa hiki kilipotokea kuhusiana na kifo cha TikTok Brian Chera. Hapo jana taarifa ziliweza kugonga vyombo vya habari kuhusiana na babu yake Brian Chira mwenyewe kuweza kukataa Chira kuweza kuzikwa nyumbani kwake. E, jambo hili limepata kuwagadhabisha Kenya na wengi kuweza kutoa maoni yao ambayo ni mbandala na kile ambacho kimekuwa kikiendelea hasa katika mitandao ya kijamii. But the real question is mbona familia ya Brian Chira ikakataa mwili wake kuzikwa nyumbani kwao? Chira's body is currently at the Kenyatta University Mortuary awaiting the final rites. Chira was a bright student as it has been revealed in school and he excelled in his studies even in campus. The burial preparations right now are underway. Uh, yesterday, TikTokers and friends to Brian Chira visited his birth home and were tembelea kule ambako Chira aliweza kuzaliwa. The, uh, the Brian Chira who recently died through a road accident in Kembu County experienced a hit. His family, after this is after his family members were in a push and pull over his burial place with some sh showing reluctance to be associated with his funeral. But, but Alicia, a prominent online influencer and who has been providing updates since Chira's death, disclosed that some relatives are distancing themselves from the funeral arrangements without giving reasons. But, but Alicia revealed that the body of Chira would be buried at Chira's grandmother's ancestral home and not where she was married. The body of Chira will be buried kwenye shoshu alitoka, kwenye aliolewa walikata mwili isiende uko and they don't want to be associated with anything to do with the funeral. So you will not ask why kwa programs, maybe kuna familia ingine, that's the information I was given. Uh, <laughs> He added that people that the people at Chira's grandmother current place refused to allow the body to be taken there to express their unwillingness to be linked with any funeral arrangements. Meanwhile, Chira's barrio is scheduled for Tuesday next week in Gedongori, the ancestral land of his grandmother. It has been revealed that Chira will be buried in a graduation gown, a special request made by his grandmother who fondly remembered him as an exceptionally bright student. Now, nataka tuzungumze asoa ni nini kiliweza kupelekea kijana huyu kutozikwa mahali ambapo eh, mama yake ametoka mahali ambapo familia yake ile kamili because you know right now shosho kwa mahali shosho alitoka ndipo kijana anaenda kuzikwa the reasons are ku state but the online detectives and the online people na watumizi wa mitandao ya kijamii I've gone ahead to say that Chira's maternal, uh, mater, uh, maternal grandfather refused. Na wacha ni kukumbushe na ni kuambia kitu kimoja usichokijua. Uyu babu yake Chira liyakataa Chira kuweza kuzikwa kwake. Yeye ndia anaitwa Chira. Yani Chira is named after this, uh, this grandfather. Uh, mnaelewa katika tamaduni na mila za kikuyu. Uh, and mostly in the Mount Kenya region siki kuyu pekee hata ukikwenda kule Meru ukwende Embu mtoto wa kwanza akizaliwa kama mimi nikizaa mtoto wa kwanza mimi napaswa nimuite babu yangu tunaelewana so imagine babu yangu akataa mimi nizikwe kwake sasa swali ni nje mbona ifikie pointi mpaka watu ambao wao ndio wanapaswa kuwa hata wakipigania ambapo watazikwa Brian hawataki kuhusishwa na yeye. Kisa ni kwamba Brian alikuwa kijana mbaye hakuhusiana na familia hii vizuri kwa sababu you know what the mother died na huyo kijana he had to raise he, he was raised by his grandmother na unajua mara nyingine somebody needs father's love but huyo grandfather mwenye anakataa chira ziko kwake ndiye alikataa kumpea huyo kijana the fatherly love that he needs so kijana aka akajipata you know fighting for his life trying to make hands meet eh akajipata anavugia pombe ndio huyo akajipata ameingia kwa vikosi ambazo zilimpelekea mpaka kule Mombasa alipopata kuwa kupewa ugonjwa ukimwi and all that 
Alafu another thing yetu wanasema kijana alikuwa gay. Na mnajua when it comes to the kikuyu community kitu kama hiki ni mwiko katika jamii ya wakikuyu. Mimi mkikuyu ndio naelewa jambo kama ile. Kitu kama hiki ni mwiko sana. It's e, 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 aki, akikubaliwi kabisa kwanza ukisikika kuna fununu ya kwamba wewe ni gay ama wewe ni shoga au watu upinga sana wewe u, wewe uweze kuuzishwa nao wanasema nga sisi hatumjui e, sisi hatumjui mwenye tunajua ni yule mtoto mchanga aliyezaliwa kwetu lakini huyu ambaye ameweza kuwa mtu mzima na anafanya vituko kama hizi sisi hatuna ufahamu na yeye na muona Naomi Nancy anasema if he was rich they will be fighting to bar him because of his wealth. He is poor, they are still fighting but not to associate with him. Too much hypocrisy. Daniel Lagati anasema the way he was removed from city mortuary was undignified, undignified carried in a gunny bag. Mm. Sasa mambo yanaendelea kuchemka, stories zinaendelea kuchipuka kila kukicha aswa kuhusiana na huyu kijana who was really why is the family of this young man refusing to be associated with him ndio maswali wengi wanajiuliza pale lakini kile ambacho nimekwambia the main reason for them not to want to be associated with Chira ni kwa sababu inasemekana Chira was gay and they don't want anything to do with him ana akizikwa kwao Uh, vurugu zitaz, zitazuka na wataki ya kwamba those that are not of Chira's ways waweze kuwa associated with Chira so they sought and found that the best option and the best way to 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 to, to keep other siblings and let me say other cousins from Chira's mm, said characters eh, na to be associated with Chira's character ni kukataa huyo kijana kuweza kuzikwa kwao and that's why they did what they did Unajua kila mtu ana sababu lakini e, wa Kenya wanasema hamna sababu ya kumkataa mkijana wenu aweze kuzikwa nyumbani mana you know what he was born there and other people are saying e, uyu babu yake ambaye anakataa kuzikwa azikwa huko this is the same man who failed Brian Chira kwa sababu Chira had no parents he had no father he had no mother so this guy who have acted and given Chira his fatherly love that he needed hmm? ni mambo kati ya story ambazo zinapigiwa msasa sana pale kwenye mitandao ya kijamii for now hapo ndipo tunakamilisha video yetu but as of right now kile anakuacha nacho ni vijana tu, tujifunze aswa kuishi katika mila the story na itikadi za kwetu ndipo ikifikia pointi watu wa wale ambao tunaita familia wasitutenge you know Brian yeye hata jui ni nini kinaendelea yeye alishaondokea so, so the person that is going through a lot ni shosho yake because she was the one that the only family member who wanted to be associated with Tira even when he was alive and she is the only family member ambaye amejituma kwenda hata kushughulika na mambo ya kumzika Brian for now hizo ndizo story mbazo zinaendelea kugonga vyombo vya habari katika sehemu tofauti hapa nchini Kenya for now Tuungane katika video zetu zijazo sisahau kusubscribe ndani ya The FM Showcase